Kelly Clarkson says her divorce from Brandon Blackstock sparked many questions from her kids about love. Appearing on last week's Podcrush podcast episode, the 41-year-old said her bitter split from the talent manager forced a lot of uncomfortable conversations to take place at home. When you do go through a divorce, especially with young kids, the definition of love comes up quite a bit. She told hosts Penn Badgley, Nava Cavelin, and Sophie Ansari Bring. The Kelly Clarkson show host filed for divorce from Blackstop in June 2020 after seven years of marriage. The pair, who share daughter River Rose, 9, and son Remington Alexander, 7, finally settled their split in March 2022 after two years of court battle. Clarkson said the divorce has forced their kids to ask her, so you don't love daddy anymore. I love that daddy gave me you too, she recalled telling them in response. We just don't like each other like we did. It's just different now. The since you've been gone hitmaker said the hardest part is when you can see it on their face. They question, can your love change for me? It's hard. And then it's hard when they go, why don't I have a grandpa from you? You told me love is different with a parent and a child than with a husband and a wife. But it's not because your dad left you, she explained, referring to her relationship with her estranged dad, Stephen, who died in 2019. Clarkson last month said she relied heavily on the help of antidepressants to get through the divorce. I looked at my therapist, and I just couldn't stop sobbing, and I was like, I actually had to cancel some of the other day because I couldn't stop crying. I cannot do this, the singer said on the Los Culturistas podcast. And it was one of those things where I really had to put my pride aside and, like, all my childhood issues of whatever. I was on Lexapro for, like, I think, two months, she added. A week prior, the singer told Apple Music's Zane Lowe that she did not handle well. I don't know how people get through anything like that because I'm not going to say I did it gracefully. Behind closed doors by myself, it was not, she said, admitting she tried to put on a happy face.